This is the other one. I talk about social etiquette. So I'm online and I'm going to utilize these tools and I want to get involved in Twitter or LinkedIn. How do they work? Well, they don't all work the same. And I think this is, this is something that most of us hopefully understand, but some people get on them and they get confused or they're upset because somebody's blocked them or they get a little spam warning from LinkedIn. <laughs> I've got one of those recently, so don't worry about it. But <laughs> they, <laughs> they did know me. They said they didn't know me. They just didn't want to admit it. So here we go. So here's some just different types of etiquette we look at in these tools. So if you're, which is worse, <laughs> the second one, Twitter. So Twitter is all about engagement, value, and listening. That's the etiquette. So get involved, engage, add value through links and fun quotes and even being entertaining. But also people expect you to listen, which means basically follow them back. So you see someone on Twitter with a thousand followers and they're following 10, that says I'm not listening. And social media to a large degree is a listening tool. LinkedIn. This is something, LinkedIn and Facebook are so different. I'm seeing a large group of people who were brought into social media through Facebook. So they didn't really, weren't on LinkedIn, they started on Facebook, and Facebook is how many people can you add that will accept you? That's the game, right? <laughs> I've got 2,000 friends, none of them know you, but it's cool, and who cares? And if we look at the, uh, and I joke about this, but here's the etiquette for Facebook. Frat party meets family reunion. Anybody relate to this? Right, that's about a quarter of all our friends on Facebook in most cases. So if you come from Facebook and into LinkedIn, thinking that's the same thing, it isn't. LinkedIn is actually trust people with solid networks connecting with people with solid networks. So because I have a big belief in Graham's capacity, I'm willing to let him into my network and he'll do the same. And so it's a very different etiquette and level of engagement than some of the tool. Blogs, here's some basic etiquette. Bidirectional, meaning it's supposed to be two ways, so don't turn your comments off. And if someone makes a comment, you might want to reply. Personal, and it's non-pitchy. Even corporate blogs should be non-pitch, the most effective ones. Meetup, the host sets the tone. Who's been to different meetups? Right? So what we'll see is we'll go to one and they're selling, you know, at the end of the day, they have a speaker come up and they pitch you hard, at the end you're expected to buy something, right? Other ones we all show up and we're quiet and we have a tea together and we chill out. And this one is kind of in between, I guess. Uh, but as we look at it, it's the people who often develop the group that sets the tone. This is the only meetup chain. This is the only meetup? Thank you. Meetup. So Francis, should I, FHS Events, uh, right? Yeah. FHS Events. Uh, she runs her own social mixers and community connections and also helps do launch parties for different products and individuals. And if you go to Francis events compared to other people in the community who are like her or say they're like her, you'll find a different type of person and even a different type of networking. Why? Because she set the tone for her community. So we'll find that Meetup is much like that because it's connecting offline and online. So consider industry, age, culture, and geography as well when you're in social media because like, I'm connecting with people who are in South America. I'm connecting with people who are in Asia, I'm connecting with people that are in the States, in Canada. People from Toronto are different, who would agree? Anybody? <laughs> in a good way, I'm kidding. Uh, but all things aside, there's different cultures of doing business. So we have to be aware of these as well, not just what you should do in LinkedIn, but what a person from Toronto expects from you if they're in a C-level position. 